Hi, hello, good morning everyone from Maastricht, Netherlands and good afternoon to those who are watching from the Philippines and um, good morning, good evening to those who are watching in the U.S. and um, yeah, in the U.S. And my name is Sas Fernanda Sasot and this is the session two of Dialogue with Sas. And for this dialogue, our topic will be about being alpha. Uh, for this uh, session, I have three guests. Um, the first guest is um, Mr. Wait a second, Mr. Dexter Feliciano. He is a lawyer and CEO and founder of MyLegalWiz.com. We will ask Dexter later on what's MyLegalWiz.com. And my second guest is um, Patricia Mendoza. Patricia Mendoza is, where is, where is Patricia Mendoza? <laughs> Okay, Patricia Mendoza is currently not here. Um, we only, I think the disconnect si Patricia. Um, okay, I'm gonna introduce my, my second guest. My second guest um, is Rika Paras. Wait a second. She, she just logged in. Um, okay. We are having some technical difficulties, guys. But my, my other two guests have just uh, logged in. Okay. Um, my second guest is um, Ms. Rika Paras. Uh, she is an IT senior manager and of a multinational company. And she was a former um, PBB housemate. I, um, maybe some of you could still remember Rika Paras. My third um, guest, na disconnect na naman yung third, yung other guest ko. Anyway, we're gonna start. Um, okay, here she is. She is now. She's connecting. Um, my third guest is uh, Patricia Mendoza, also known as Pat Mendoza. She's an ex corporate executive turned fashion entrepreneur. Um, marketing business and digital transformation consultant. And currently, because of the pandemic, she has now um, been baking. Um, you can now unmute, unmute, guys. Hello, welcome. I'm going to unmute you all. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. This is the Philippines. Good morning, sa Europe, Netherlands. And to London. Good morning. Yes. Hello. Salahat ng nanono. All from all over the world. Rika, we cannot hear you, Rika. Are you are, are you on mute? Oh, no, Alasha. Hi, Rika. Hi. I hope. Hi, Rika. Okay. So. Umpisahan na natin ang ating um, pag-uusap, right? I will, um, umpisa tayo sa kung sino nagpasimuno ng topic na to. We're gonna ask um, Dexter Feliciano, Dexter, to explain to us yes. what is um, alpha spirituality. What is alpha spirituality? You, you know, Sas, when I wrote an email for uh, sayo, no, uh, this is... Uh, the thing that I was uh, thinking that is, uh, for me, something lacking in the country. You know, we are a religious country, but there's no deep spirituality. Okay. Now, there's a difference between religion and spirituality. But here, it's very specific. No? It's about the mindset. No? A mindset of a being alpha. It's a, a way of life. It's not just a personality. Uh -huh. uh, in one of the books that I was reading, it's very interesting, and I recommend all viewers to read it, The Way of the Superior Man. Actually, that man is actually everyone. Nilagyan lang ng man kasi ayaw nung author na ilagay feminine, a different a kind of ano, gender. A generic in a generic term. term, yes. Ang sabi niya, an alpha male, or he calls a superior man, is purposeful, confident, directed, 
living his chosen way of life with deep integrity and humor. Medyo malalim pero explain natin oh, in a while. Hindi lang ha. So, 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 when we say alpha male, yeah. we were refer we are used to alpha person. So it this applies to both male yeah, and to add apply to everyone. Everyone. Okay. All right. Yes, yes. So this one, it uh, sinasabi niya, parang an alpha person, you no, know, assumes complete responsibility over his actions yeah. and non-actions. That is number one. Ultimately, he recognizes and acknowledges that he has no control over things. He acts with impeccable courage and persistence, expecting nothing in return but the inherent feeling of completeness of giving his fullest gifts. Mm -hmm. Fullest gifts, ibig sabihin po, skills, talents, kung anong mabibigay mo. If you will see here, he, it's not talking about an outcome. It's not talking about attachments. It doesn't talk about, ah, you need to get it to this goal. It's about you giving your gift to the world. So that is an alpha personality. It's a mindset. It's a way of life. Yeah, but but the way you define kasi the alpha, um, alpha spirituality seems to be different from what we commonly um, think of when we hear alpha personality. <laughs> what do you think, mm -hmm. Pat, Enrica? What do you think about that definition with compare, compared to what we usually associate with being alpha, you know, having an alpha personality? Anyone can start. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Pat. <laughs> yeah. Well, because, of course, when I, what, what you read in the internet or what you see on movies or when you talk with your friends, diba? Ano ang alpha? Alpha, queen, at least from, the, from a female perspective, ba? you think alpha is the leader of the pack. Mm -hmm. She's the queen bee. She's super confident. No? She, she gets things done. So it's, it's a very, for me, it's a very narrow and uh, one-dimensional uh, view of what an alpha is. No? That's why... Uh, that's okay, Nina. I was I was asking Dexter, why did you think of this topic? Like, why? What's the importance of talking about this topic? And then maybe later we can share it to the audience. So like, ano ba yung, what is truly to be an alpha? What is it truly to be an alpha? And how can it benefit us, our relationships with people? And from the context of yun nga, na parang, we need it as a country. Maybe uh, you can expound on that later. Because Miss Universe answer will kind of like that. Some you win this. Rika, what can you, you were you were about to say something before? Uh, yes, uh, Yes, I agree with Pat. And um, sa atin kasi parang meron kasi siyang impression na kailangan pag uh, um, alpha ka, kailangan ikaw yung the Godfather, ikaw yung Regina George ng Mean Girls, di ba? Okay. So parang may personality siya na particular na pini-prescribe na kailangan pushy ka, kailangan controlling, yes. kailangan mayaman, kailangan I mean you meron ka level of seniority, assertive. So parang I think maganda yung conversation na to kasi it gives us another perspective kung paano ba maging alpha. Para, para sa akin kasi hindi lang siya about control eh, and pagiging leader ng pack eh. Parang Ikaw, ikaw yung parang kumbaga, parang influencer din ng buong pa. Parang kumbaga, kahit wala ka, kahit hindi ka nag-uutos, parang meron kang dominion over your pack Parang ganon, in a way na, oh, wow mo. so maraming bagay. And I hope na may mga examples tayo later on with us at sa mga guests kung paano tong personality na to, na hindi kailangan, you know, one personality na alpha lang. Parang ganon, maraming klaseng alpha. I think balik mm -hmm. natin kay Dexter yeah. Bola kasi iko na pa si Muno nito, di ba? So, kasi uh -huh. <laughs> when we talk about alpha, we 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 talk about the alpha personality. Pero iko kasi dito, you you want to talk about alpha spirituality. Ano pala kay ba ng dalawang 'yan? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yung, yung alpha spirit alpha personality is just the narrow view of being alpha. No, alpha spirituality is a way of life. Again, only in ko, it's a mindset. It's a way of life. It's being authentic. It's being a leader, not just a scary, uh, scared bully or a wimp. No, uh, hindi. He doesn't need to be right all the time. Or he doesn't need to always be safe. No, he just wants to give his gifts fully. Like his talents or his wisdom, his experience to the world without expecting anything in return. 
So later ba uh, siguro ma-discuss natin yung mga specific personalities no pero Desendale I again, a good yes. a good time to dis- discuss specific personalities. So sino yung I'm gonna ano have a round robin. Sino sa tingin ninyo ang nag-embody ng alpha spirituality? It can be a for a local leader or a foreign leader. It, the person can be any gender. Right. I think let's begin from uh, Rika Paras. Bago ka magsalita, Rika Paras, I'm gonna show you a comment from an audience. Sabi, sabi ni Tina Estrelado, sir, lalong gumanda si Ma'am Rika. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat. As in, it's out of personality. <laughs> Maganda tayo lahat in every single way. <laughs> but thank you. Anyway, sa, sa akin, um, siguro being based in the UK and being exposed to the Crown <laughs> series, so for, for me, si Princess Diana, yung alpha personality. Kasi grabe yung juxtaposition ng role niya as um, parang she's portrayed na parang na-oppress siya, marami siyang pinagdaanan, di ba? And she has to, you know, face the royal family. Pero look at her, she's been admired, people love her. And, and everywhere she goes, ang daming really may gusto sa kanya. And, and that's a kind of personality that commands attention and that commands admiration. So, so for me, I mean, a, a, a personality like that is, is really alpha. And you can see na hindi siya pushy, hindi siya aggressive, hindi siya commanding, di ba? Wala siya sa position of power, although she's a princess. Pero she but managed she's a person to, of influence, diba? She's a person of influence, indeed. And she managed to get that um, admiration and respect and siguro following um, because of the actions that she has and how she has um, showed uh, how, how she is in, in public. And, and for me, um, very, very alpha, very... I mean, that's that's exactly the kind of embodiment na of, of a person na parang, parang, yes, parang I really admire her and parang masasabi mo na idol ko siya, parang ganon. Uh-huh. Welcome back, Pat! Ito, si, ay, si Bat na wala ulit. Bago-bago si Pat. Dexter, who do you think embodies the alpha spirituality? Well, um, for me, it's, uh, well, hindi na, wag na tayo lumabas. No, I think President Duterte, uh, exemplifies alpha personality because number one if you will look at the you uh, know uh how he acts he assumes complete responsibility in anything minsan nainis tayo bakit mo for example in a point si ganyan or bakit hindi mo pa inaalis si sina bakit hindi mo bakit hindi mo inaalis si ganyan pero sasabihin niya hindi de sa akin yan sa akin yan he assumes complete responsibility no, regardless of what people think about him, he has no con- He basically you cannot control everything. Eh? You need we need to accept that. Uh, yung in connection with later, no, yung vulnerability. Uh, we cannot control everything, but we can. We we still need to act with impeccable courage and persistence. No, and just feel the enjoy the feeling of completeness. Nga, na sinasabi, in giving your gifts. So our president, regardless of uh, his, uh, no, uh, his personality, you know, he exemplifies that. Uh, the kind alpha of spirituality. So ang ano natin, Pat, ha? Sir Rika Paras, Princess Diana, si Dexter, President Duterte. Yes, okay. So now turn. Who is, who, who embodies the alpha spirituality? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I'll, hindi na rin ako lalayo. I'll base it from my experience and someone I have personally encountered and worked with. Um, see Miss Tessie, see Coson. Oh. And we all know that, uh, and we all know that she, she's, she's dubbed the, one of the most powerful, divine, successful businesswoman in Asia. So, well, based on my observations and my dealings with her, she's very soft-spoken, mild-mannered, no? And, uh, I wouldn't even consider her as, you know, even parang social lubricator, diba? That's one of the alpha characteristics, eh, na parang you can work a crowd, you're the center of attention. But Mrs. Fawson is, you know, with, she has that that quiet confidence, that, quiet you know, confidence. that certain air of, yeah, yeah, that certain air of self-assurance, that even if she doesn't speak a lot or speak loud, yung presence niya, 
once she's there, you know she has that power. And she doesn't even have to lift a finger or be or portray or be like assertive or aggressive. But she certainly has influence in so many things, you know, so many people, so many industries. So that's, uh, that's a person that I would say has a certain, uh, has an alpha spirituality, but doesn't exhibit the stereotypical traits of an alpha woman, you know? So that's why I really think it's more layered and more multidimensional as what we see on film or on movies on like how, what we, what we read about, you know, the alpha, the alpha personality. So yeah, see Mrs. Cosson, she's my, she's one of the role models for me that have having an alpha spirituality. Oh, oh. Ako, 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 yeah, my turn, of course. I think for me, ang, 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 nage, isa sa mga nag-embody ng, ng alpha personality, I think si, I am gonna choose Ong Sang Suu Kyi. Kasi, you know, Ong Sang Suu, did I pronounce her name right? Right, Ong Sang Suu Kyi was, uh, before kasi she was awarded Nobel Peace Prize, right? Sa mga hindi mo nakakakilala kay Ong Sang Suu Kyi, she's like a, a Burmese, uh, woman na nakulong yan sa uh, bor- sa Myanmar dahil nga um um dissident ganyan i think it was her dad na na, na dissident as she was on on house arrest kasi nga siya yung pinapatakbo ng mga tao and now you know because yung bor- um um Burma is already relaxing slowly relaxing the hold of the military uh, nag-arise ngayon sa Aung San Suu Kyi. The problem is, meron ngayong crisis, meron crisis kasi sa Burma na yung Rohingya crisis. It's like a crisis between Buddhists and Muslims, right? So that the Rohingya were like uh, refugees, ganyan, and um, some reports say that they're being mistreated, and meron ng kaso yung Burma ng crimes against humanity. And ngayon, si, si Aung San Suu Kyi, dahil member na siya ng, ng government, so she was there, she was here actually in the Netherlands, in the Hague, and defend, seemingly defending the military. And, you know, the rest of the world were like calling for all her awards to be removed. Um, she, every, I think, I think everything, alang, parang, ano, ang, ang portrayal ngayon sa kanya sa West, kay, kay Aung San Suu Kyi, is nag fall from grace. There's Aung San Suu Kyi, parang, camps na. <laughs> <laughs> parang I will continue what what I need to do, diba? So parang she she was like put in a very difficult position, diba? So 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 yon. So begin at mm-hmm. kay Rika it's Princess Diana, kay kay Dexter it's President Duterte, kay Pat it's Tessie Cosan, and for for me si Ong San Suu Kyi. So parang it's a diverse group of people coming from different um different fields, which also reflects ito composition ng panel na to. Kasi nga, di ba, I still like that, like, uh, Rika, Dexter, and Pat, because for, for me, they, they, they exude some alphaness, di ba? Now, we're gonna move from from the definition we provided of the alpha personality and, and who we believe are, who we believe exhibits alpha personality to your personal experiences, di ba? Um, my first question is, um, being ambitious is one of the core uh personal core core personality core qualities of being an alpha pero ang wording nga lang is like mission driven etc based on your experience what motivates you to be ambitious let's start with um Pat Mendoza kasi kanina ka pa paano eh pa disconnect disconnect ikaw mauna <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay um for me, my motivation to be ambitious is um, it's driven by something inside of me that I want to be excellent or successful at what I do. Because for me, it's a responsibility to myself to make the make the most out of my potential, of my talents, my skills. It's not really about I want to impress people or my coworkers. For me, if I don't do my best or if I don't get what I have to do, I'm doing a disservice to myself. So it's driven by that thing inside of me to, to reach for the highest. And in, in, in to be ambitious, is what you said, no? So, but of course, when I was younger, mas ano, mas stereotypical yung, yung 
my my image of what ambitious what an ambitious person should be no but now as you get older and you get to be more mature uh it's um i've evolved into someone na hindi lang basta you're successful to a certain standard diba that's being ambitious so yeah that that but my motivation to be successful stayed the same no so, it's 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 on me eh. Ang ang naiintindihan ko dito ko pa. Parang you you are dif- somewhat differentiating being ambitious and being successful. So parang one is drive to be ambitious and the other one is drive to be successful. Pa- parang what do you how do you, how do you differentiate these two? Well, kasi when you say ambitious, you, there's a goal. You're looking at a goal somewhere high up there or something far up there. You know, so it's a way for you to be a successful if you're striving to get something or be someone. You know, being ambitious is a road to be successful. So that's my definition. So it's it, it's related to each other. Okay, about about Marika, what kung kung kay Pat sabi niya it was like something in um inside her and it kind of evolved as she um Grew, grew older. Sa mga, sa mga nanonood pala, we are all like millennials. We are, we are all in our 30s. And we, actually, we are, ano, we are hybrid generation kasi we experience both the, the yes. digital age na habang nagta-transition. So, Rita, so how about you? Uh, what about the ways to be ambitious? Ako siguro, it, it comes in a different form. Siguro, I would say na parang I have I have a big fear of failure uh, as a person. Parang mm-hmm. rooted when I was growing up, gusto ko na maging proud yung parents ko sa akin. I want to be, you know, like uh, be very good in school. Parang so so in that sense, parang dahil yung personality ko, parang gusto mag gusto gusto ma, ma, mag pa impress siguro i want people to to love me gusto ko yung mga tao happy sa akin gusto ko yung mga tao proud sa akin na i i really strive to to really do the best parang ganoon in everything that i do and siguro dahil nga sa fear of failure na yon nag nagmumukhang um i always succeed in everything that i do because of that uh, motivation so so in the sense um i would say Um, my the successes that na na achieve ko in life is really because of my personality. Na gusto ko na proud sa akin yung the people around me parang ganon and and parang proud din ako sa sarili ko. Mama ya ano ha pag usapan natin yung fear of success. I prefer of success, fear of failure. Oh, yeah. ha, pag usapan natin yan. Ikaw Dexter, what motivates you to be ambitious? Well, uh. From the beginning, it's my soul and individual uh, a desire to improve myself. So just like uh, Pat, no? uh, I want to be the best version of myself. That is my primary motivation. But incidentally, of course, I want also to have uh, the to feel the challenge and enjoyment of uh, no, having an impact to society. But that is secondary for me. So in, uh, with all honesty. My motivation is coming from myself. Uh, if I improve myself, sabi ko naman na para if I improve myself, I contribute to the world already. So, yun ang motivation yeah. ko to become mission focused or ambitious. Okay. I agree. So, so um, has being ambitious um, affected your um, personal relationship? Kasi nga, di ba, parang ang ano natin, ang very, sa mga yeah. movies, Always, di ba? Pa ang plot, pag alpha yung alpha yung uh, person has that alpha personal spirituality. Ang stereotype is may hirapan sila magform ng meaningful relationship, and yung plot is for them to to transform into um, to someone else. So, ano? Based on your personal experience, is your drive to be um, successful? Um, Um, affecting your ability to form, you know, uh, form not just friendship but romantic and meaningful relationship. I think I'm gonna. I want to start because it's very different with guys. Guys being alpha is some sort of a very treasured 
quality. So I would like to talk to girl. Pero I'm gonna ask you, Dexter, ha? How guys... Uh, <laughs> how sure, how sure. you deal with an alpha woman, diba? So let's start with Rika. Rika, is your drive to success? Um, has your drive to success affected your your ability to form relationship? Yes, na, it, it will really affect. So we have to accept that uh, people around you will be affected in a way, whether positively or negatively with, with your success. Sinasabi ko nga lagi sa sarili ko na you have to accept the fact that success and jealousy are twin sisters. Laging nandun yun. So what I tell myself is that um, I surround myself yung mga tao na supportive tsaka masaya dahil naging successful ako. And yung mga taong to will share yung success ko. Kasi kung kapag yung mga tao, feeling nila ka-share ka nila sa success mo, ma madidiminish yung part na baka may jealousy, palang ganun, kasi kasama sila sa success. So so that's just how I see it. I accept the fact na may mga, you know, ma, 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 ma brush off ka talaga because of that success that you have. Pero if you share your success, and you make sure na yung mga tao happy sa success mo, um, ma- ma-avoid mo yung mga negative impact nun. Pero ano yung worst ano, impact ng, ano mo, ng, <laughs> ng you know, be, ng yung driven personality? Does it, ano ba does it weed out people na, um, who might, who might not be able to handle you? Or, can you handle this? <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it, it does. And, um, may mga tao talagang parang biglang lumalamig kapag nagiging successful ka na. Parang ganon. And, and naintindihan ko naman na sa mga taong to, mahirap, mahirap i, sabi, sabihin natin, i-verbatim. Mahirap sabihin na, hoy, nainggit ako sa'yo. Sas. Mahi, me, medyo mahirap sabihin yun eh. Kasi nakakaano yun ng ego eh, di ba? And na, na, you know, meron ka mga tao, nakakilala mo, friends mo before. Nung nasa baba ka pa, nung nagsastruggle ka pa, di ba? Parang friends kayo. Pa, tapos nung nasa taas ka na, ay, lumamig na. Parang ganon. So, di ba, hindi mo maintindihan kung bakit nag-iba yung treatment. Yeah. And hindi mo din makukuha yung sagot ng heart to heart, di ba, ng honest. Yeah. Kasi mahirap bt one, mahirap mag-admit, di ba, yeah. na, na nati-threaten ka sa success ng friend mo, parang ganon. So, so, you, so you feel na um, your success, instead of inspiring some some people you have met, it actually inspired them to be envious and or jealous. So yun yung naging problema na nakita mo along, yes. along, along the way to success. Yes, yes. And yun talaga, as in, I really feel bad. Nanlulumo talaga ako. Kasi ako gusto ko yung success ko. Masaya lahat. As in, gusto ko na sinishare siya ng mga kaibigan ko. And kapag I encountered sa situation na parang, actually, hindi hindi mo malalaman eh. Hindi mo maintindihan. Kasi hindi naman sasabihin sa'yo na, hoy, sa hindi na tayo friends kasi napaka-successful mo na. Ang dami ng following, di ba? So, hindi ko, hindi, I mean, wala namang magsasabi ng, ng ganun. I mean, only brave people can say yes. and can admit to themselves na natitraten sila, di ba? Um, but, but the rest will really uh, just uh, keep quiet and have cold shoulder, di ba? Ikaw pa, dahil pa, paalis-alis ka at pa-disconnect, disconnect ka. <laughs> Sorry, may internet connection. <laughs> Anong internet mo? Globe ba yan? Globe? Paging globe? Oh, globe. Sandali. Hindi tayo, hindi tayo kasi gano'n no. hindi sa soberano na <laughs> pag nag-complain. Oo nga. Sabi ko pa. Sabi ko pa. Kay Nuika, parang it affected somehow. Yung kanyang, um, you know, she encountered friends na um, na Oo, habang okay. magiging, magiging successful siya, lumalayo kasi nga they feel um, yeah. self-envious of her success rather than inspired. Did mm-hmm. you also experience that? Um, not really, because I don't have a lot of friends to begin with. <laughs> no, I'm more... trying not to start with. <laughs> and then, no, I would like to qualify that. No, because, just I, I'm, I'm an introvert, no? Hindi lang obvious, because I need to be extroverted in most of the situations in life and at work. But I don't really have, my close friends, very, ano lang, very few. No, but... 
Um, based on my experience, no, in terms of being ambitious, it's more of I'm very choosy who I work with. Ano mayon? So, uh, so it may qualifier na agad to start palang. That's why maybe some people think na parang I'm difficult to work with, ganyan. So, so start pa lang. Medyo may, may ano na nangyayari. Meron na. Meron ng uh, ano. Meron ng lab. Meron ng vibe. Di ba? You already feel the vibe of your soul. May vibe. Mamay pag-uusapan natin. Oh, yung may ganoon. No? Vibe with co-workers ha, after, after um, Dexter uh, say, uh, answer this. Um, whether being ambitious uh-huh. also affected his relationship. Kasi iba kasi with, with men. Di ba? The, being alpha is like an aphrodisiac. So, <laughs> so Pat, continue. Yes, yes, yes. So, yun, um, but then also, um, if I see, let's say, if I'm in a group setting or, um, uh, so, so work na lang. If I see someone who's equally as good or someone na parang, oh, parang, you, I respect, I don't mind falling in line. Eh. I don't mind, I don't mind following or, being, ano, um, uh, from taking orders from this person. But, yun nga, I, I need to see that person as an equal. Something that I could learn from or something that I could be inspired with. So, but I really don't mind shifting the, you know, the the balance uh-huh. or the power. Wala akong problem mo. Hindi yung parang lagi dapat ako masusunod. Yes. Or, uh, you, you know, you know what I mean. So, mm-hmm. I could be that. So, in a way, that being uh, the alphaness, for me, it has a time and a place. And yeah. it's more of self-awareness, eh? knowing your strength, what's your role in the in the situation or in the dynamics of a group. It's knowing your role, uh, being real about it, and performing that. Because you, you want the group or whatever your goal is, collectively, no, to be successful. I mean, it has to work. It cannot be just what you want. Ikaw, ano, Dexter, what can you say? Um, about you know being ambitious and personal relationship. The, does it does this also did this also happen to you? Na like for Rita, some people got um, intimidated by your success or envious or jealous or kay Pat na you know the there there is this vibe that happened within within um, the context of of the workplace. Um. Yeah, you're correct. No, it's different between men and women. That that's because of sexual polarity. Uh-huh. So I, I want to discuss what sexual polarity is. The difference between men and women. Now, for men, uh, it's more of mission focused, and for women, it's the their priority is the flow of love in their relationship. Even if they have a, for example, a great uh, career, if they, even if they have a great career, but the flow of love in their intimate and family relationship is not there. It's it's not fulfilling their core. So but mer- for a man, so meron lang talagang ano. So this is meron lang talagang um, pinanggagalingan yung 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 drive nila to to, to to for success. So so if I understand this right, parang for for those the feminine spectrum, na ang 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 mm. pinanggagalingan is yung to maintain the flow of love in the relationship. So even though the Correct. But but for men, what what is it for for those who are in the masculine? Yeah. For for men, no, it's uh, the priority of men is mission. No, I, imagine no when a man is focused with his mission, fulfilling his purpose, it gives time to his woman to wonder or miss him, give some space, so that you know you know yeah, it, that's true. It's making their relationship more mysterious. Uh, it makes their uh, it makes the relationship more polarizing, and it, it they will look up to their dates. I mean, if if you, the best, tama. So when we see, oh, para hugot naman to sa akin. So nila go go Dexter. So so uh, it it appears that uh, sometimes the woman, your woman, wants to be the priority in the in the relationship, but it's not actually. It just appears that way. It's more attractive and engenders the woman's trust to a man. If a man is focused on his purpose and mission rather than when a man depends on his personal relationship with the woman for his happiness that is crucial if a man is uh, focused on the uh, personal relationship 
with this woman for his happiness nagkakaroon ng insecurity yung woman parang parang will i trust this man na parang he's relying she's re, he, he's relying on our relationship so it's really better for men especially that's the alpha mindset no you need to focus on your purpose and mission and the relationship will take care of itself and remember courtship never ends courtship it's not just giving flowers court if you're married uh, everyone who's watching no if you're married if you have girlfriends Courtship is not just giving flowers, guys. No, it's about mystery. It's about anticipation. It's about uh, making decisions for your woman, taking a complete responsibility over the direction of your relationship. That is very important. Yes, uh, you might be saying something. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think about what uh, Dexter said about you know this this sexual polarity that um, you experience this, Anna? Uh, sa inyo personally, Rika and Pat, that as a woman, right, na you feel na um, parang ang pinaghuhugutan nyo ng lakas is to maintain the flow of, is it, did I uh, get it correctly, Dexter, to maintain the flow of love in the relationship. Yeah, flow of love in the relationship. Pero they can still be be focused on their career, etc. Pero hindi yung exactly. career, hindi career yung pinaghuhugutan ng lakas, but the personal relationship. So it's not just it's not just about um, romantic, right? It's also family, um, friendship, etc. Do you do you I know? Do you validate this um, this perspective on your empirical experience as a woman? Rika. <laughs> Rika. Um, I, oh, I, <laughs> so beginning, and Miriam, that's a very difficult situation to be in. <laughs> Um, sa, sa tingin ko, yes, pero not all the time. A person in a relationship na sa mature stage ka na, um, to be able to handle that. Meron kang certain level of maturity para ma-digest at maintindihan yung mga bagay-bagay na dito, nang gaga- dito pinanggagalingan yung person and you need to accept that. Kasi if, if for example, you are younger, tapos kinakapa mo pa yung relationship, kinakapa mo pa kung paano mag-navigate through, you know, understanding men, di ba? Being in a relationship. It, it can easily go wrong. May, may, may misinterpret mo talaga na yung actions ng lalaki, ay parang malamig siya, ay parang hindi niya ako mahal, parang hindi niya ako priority, parang ganun. So, it takes a certain level of experience and maturity and, uh, you know, thinking sa part ng, you know, partner mo to be at that level na confident mong masasabi na, ay, nagmamatch kami kahit polarized yung personalities namin. And, and I think, um, as a person, um, nasa journey din tayo when it comes to handling that in a relationship and even at work. Ha? Parang meron tayong journey, nag-iiba yung thinking natin, nag-iiba yung mindset natin as we progress, as we, you know, ang dami nang na-experience mo in life. Minsan kailangan mong baguhin kasi na-realize mo na, ay, parang masyadong childish yung attitude ko dati kasi hindi ko naintindihan parang ganon. Mm-hmm. Ikaw pa, what do you what can you say uh-huh. about that po- sexual polarity that Dexter mentioned? Do you also feel uh-huh. that way na yeah. as a woman na parang you draw strength in maintaining the flow of love in your not just not just romantic relationship, diba? It's just even family, friendship, uh-huh. etc. Oh, oh, na pa oo ka naman. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I agree, agree din ako kay Rika. Since we're in the context of ano, romantic relationships, diba? na talagang it takes time, experience. And actually, just the other day, we were talking about this with my partner. Na parang, totoo ba yung concept na merong the one? Parang that person in your life na that ultimate person. And then he said, and I think napaisip din ako, and it makes sense, na walang ganon. Kasi kahit the one yan, but if you both cannot work it, work on it, I mean, as time goes by sa relationship, hindi din kayo magsasaksay that relationship. No, no matter how compatible or, you know, lahat man, lahat man ng mga ingredients for a successful relationship, nandun. But if you cannot work it out, di hindi din. So, and actually, actually this, is a total, this is a different, totally another topic, no, na very... Uh, it has to be a more layered discussion. But for me, um, 
uh, it depends on the on a person to person and also in what season in life you're in. Hindi mo pwedeng ma put it in the box eh. No. So yeah, that's that's how I would react to what Dexter said. Pero sabi ni Dexter, may ano ba yung nabanggit kasi kanina si Dexter kanina, yung word na insecurity. Sabi niya, di ba, na um, if, if, the, if, the, if the person in the masculine spectrum, right, na nag, mag, magkukuha, siya yung parang, ano to? How, how, did, how did you term it, Dexter? Na siya yung nag ano sa personal relationship or kinukuha na niya ng she or he his focus too much on the relationship parang ganyan i yeah uh, again uh, going back to sexual polarity you know uh the man if he's focused on the intimate relationship and focus on uh, parang nagde-depend sa kanya yung happiness niya sa relationship it's it's repulsive to a woman eh kasi for example uh yeah because for example yeah if if you if you a man is like oh kunyari nakipag-break ka sa wife or boyfriend mo no or girlfriend mo and then you're begging the girlfriend like for me please take me back etc in the end the girlfriend will the woman will think na parang ah oh, tama yung decision ko so yun because, Rika, because and Pat, yeah. do you feel na ganun if a guy or or a guy begs you to return, would you feel na weaker? Next, dabe niya ka. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> if a guy beg, <laughs> again, so okay. Na, ha? Ano pa ano to beg? Ilang pat? Ika clarify ko lang ito. Beg, beg. Sorry. Beg ito. Beg ito. Not in the context sa ano ha ng role playing or whatever. Ano talaga to ha? As in, maghiwalay kayo. Quits na and then yung guy ay lugubagapang pabalik na pat. Tanggapin mo na ako uli. Ganun. Ganun yung pat. Palibot ng pag-ibig. <laughs> <laughs> ano yung pat? Sige. Okay. Well, ah, sige. Uh, no. Well, for me, ha. I mean, um, in principle, there's nothing wrong for me if a person, whether a guy or a girl, would would want to have another shot with that person again, okay? But yung be- you would know naman yung begging or desperation, mm-hmm. diba? Makakita mo naman yung difference, no? Mm-hmm. So, begging could be not desperate. Begging could be desperate also, no? So, so again, it depends. So, for me, okay lang in principle na, so, na so, gustuhin mo ulit yung tao at Makikusap. Baka may pinagkaiba yung ano? Okay lang yun sa akin. Baka kasi may pinagkaiba yung begging na desperado saka yung begging. Oh. The other one is not begging. It's baka the other one is not called begging. Maybe it's just, ano, um, manning up. Mm-hmm. Right? Manning up to fix things. Baka ganun. Yes, yes. parang fighting for it. Parang yes! Ganun. Mm, yes. Not begging. Not begging. Uh-oh. Ikaw, yeah. Rita, do you feel na if a guy begs <laughs> Begs you, not in the context of a role play, huh? Hindi ko alam yung sinabi ni Pat na may may context then na parang siguro nga parang na na untog, de ba? Naka realize, nagun option sa kanyang mga actions at gusto kanyang bawiin. Pero ako as a person na um, hindi ako naniniwala sa second chances. I only believe in only chance. Parang you only had one shot. And when you were in the relationship, that was your only chance. So pakita mo na lahat, ganyan. And, and you know, if tumalikod ka, you gave up the chance, that's it. Parang ganon. So, so, so I, I guess, I mean, I mean, you, 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 I mean, in the same way. No second chance, to, no, no, just <laughs> only chance. You only have one chance. And once you are with that person, pakita mo na lahat. Pag best foot forward ka na, make that person feel, di ba? I mean, lahat ng mga issues mo sa katawan at that time, parang i-own up mo na while you were there in the context of your relationship, di ba? Hindi yung after pagtalikod mo na parang, ay, better pala si Sas. Balikan ko kaya si Sas kasi mas bongga siya. Parang gano'n. No, Wala. No. Or, you had your chance. You had your chance. I'm sorry. Di ba? <laughs> 
Pero ganito, Dexter, kung, kung, kung if, if a woman would find it repulsive, if a guy begs, paparang naman yung kabila, would, would, ano, would, would a guy find it repulsive if a woman begs? <laughs> <laughs> well, again, going back to the essence of a feminine and a uh, masculine uh, man or a woman, uh, it's more acceptable because, uh, again, uh, feminine essence is the uh, is the purpose or the priority of a feminine. It's a flow of love in the relationship. So, no. if a woman, for example, ask for something like, ask for something like, uh, can we have another chance, etc. Yung lalaki, okay lang. I mean, of course. I mean, kung, kung ako, okay lang eh. Pero, pero kung lalaki, nagkabaliktad, nagkabaliktad yung lalaki yung nagbibig, for example, like, uh, you know, nakikita ng girl na, o oh, bakit ang priority mo ang relationship natin instead of improving yourself or focusing on your mission, instead of focusing on your, your purpose, which is, sabi mo nga kanina, Sas, it's more of an aphrodisia when a man is focused on his mission. Actually, ano yan? May ikuwan ko yan kasi hugot ako ha, Char. Kasi my ex, parang, um, he, you know, he, I, I, I was always like encouraging him to even like, why don't you have, um, have nights with the boys? Why don't you, why, why don't you, um, do something, have mm. a hobby, play sports, mm. um, Kasi ano lang siya eh, parang work, bahay, and then ganon. Parang it, I didn't find it sexy. And, and mm. over time, I, I lost interest. Kasi natama ka na, you know, um, kailangan magkaroon ng, ano, ng space to create desire. And I felt that the desire was like not no longer being kindled. Kasi nga, well, sense of mystery. Parang, Oh, we gotta buy it. Pag-usapan natin trabaho mo. We can't even talk about you know how what happened in your sports or what happened in your night with the boys or 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 some sort of excitement, diba? Pero, just Mystery. We, we we have last ten minutes, diba? Or I think hmm. we can we can talk about. Uh, Naging ano na to relationship ano? Hindi ibabalik sa <laughs> boys. Kasi nga, kasi so, nga, it's important. related. It's related. Kasi related kasi sa self personality yeah. nito. But that yeah. sa inyo sa being ambitious kasi you know if you if you are ambitious um oftentimes people think na hindi ka walang space ang vulnerability sa buhay mo. 'Di ba? So let's start from ano Pat. What do you what do you say about, how do you handle vulnerability? Right? How do you mix being vulnerable and being strong? Do you think vulnerable <laughs> ko na nung, di ba? Do you think Go, answer ka muna. <laughs> uh, well, um, I think, well, now ha, medyo, compared to my younger self, um, I'm more comfortable with it. Because, um, parang yung self-awareness, no? Um, you need to understand it first. Para accept mo na, ito yung weaknesses ko. Ito yung, not, these are not my strongest points. And, if I know that, then now I can build on my strengths, knowing what my strengths are. And also, yun nga, it's knowing your role to play. Because you cannot naman, you cannot naman just, you know, function as a singular entity lang na ikaw lang. I mean, you're living with people. You live with your family, your friends, co-workers, or you're in a relationship. So, if you know your role and you function according to that role and your purpose, you wouldn't have any problems, I think, or any kind of struggle if you're comfortable with that. Yeah. So vulnerability is part of it. Everyone has that. So it's really just being able to accept it and embrace it. It, it can't go away naman, you know. So yeah, just focusing on, on the positive and just doing your role in whatever setting you're in. Ikaw, Rika. What do you think about uh, vulnerability? Sa akin na lang yun, um, na, na vulnerable tayo. Ang importante, self-aware ka. Kung kailan ka nagiging weak, kailan ka nagiging insecure, kailan ka nagiging vulnerable. And ako kasi parang solve your own problem kind of girl. Parang kung kaya mong isolve within you, 
you, you solve it. Kasi yung masyado kang, you know, parang broadcast na, ay, ito na naman yung problema ko, ito na naman yung pinagdadaanan ko, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, di ba, parang, parang managiging negativity ka na lang, hindi ka, hindi, parang, hindi, hindi, parang nawawalan ka nga ng integrity, parang ganon. So, so as much as possible, try to have, uh, solve it yourself, and also surround yourself yung close network mo, where you can, pwede mong i-bounce off yung idea mo, just, you know, sound off your negativity, para, para kumbaga, konti lang yung, konti lang yung mga mag-absorb ng negativity, pero masusold mo pa rin, parang ganon. Pero, siguro yung bigger, biggest suggestion ko is, um, huwag kang matakot na magpakita ng vulnerability in, in, in public or in your, in your public profile. Kasi maganda din nakikita ng mga tao na tao ka rin, na may pinagdadaanan ka rin. Pwede na susolve mo. Ganun. Ikaw, Dexter, do you think vulner- being vulnerable and having an alpha um, spirituality are not compatible with each other? If you're alpha, do you need to be, ano, ano bang tawag dyan? Bato? You know, kailangan mo No. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I don't think that is the alpha spirituality, you know. Uh, first off, I don't think every time that I'm vulnerable or I'm insecure. It's, yeah, there is this book uh, that I also suggest, you know, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. He said that um, enlightenment is not only the end of suffering, but also the end of dreadful enslavement to incessant thinking where all when you, when you live your life you all, don't always think that nako baka tamaan ako ng kidnap dito or if i say i love you someone will not say it back no those kinds of vulnerability again going back to that alpha spirituality and mindset it's about non-attachment to an outcome it's called karma yoga in buddha no karma yoga and um, that so it's the non-attachment to an outcome too. You just give your gifts without expecting anything in return. And I agree with both uh, Rika and Patna. You need to accept it. You need to acknowledge that as a person, as a human being, you are vulnerable. It, it, we, we only have the present moment. To be honest, it's the eternal present that we have. We don't have the past anymore. Ang future wala pa. Um, we don't know. Merong earthquake, etc. Or ano tayo, bigla tayo mawala. No, it's just the present moment that we have. If you think about vulnerability kasi, you're thinking about the future eh. Some future harm physically and emotionally. Pero ngayon, wala naman. Mm. Diba? So, just, just be conscious about it, but don't, don't have that called incessant thinking so, so kung, about kung negative ano, things. Ang makukuha ko sa sinabi mo, Dexter, so some, a person who has an alpha spirituality is fully present. Fully yeah. present. So, bilang pagdatapos, I would like to read what one of our um, viewers said. Maganda itong pagnilayan para sa inyong parting words. <laughs> Sabi ni Noel Morier Dosh, na ang hinat naman ang pangalan na ito. Vulnerability really means to be strong and secure enough within yourself that you are able to walk outside without your armor on. Um, just one minute. Wika, what can you say about it? Wow, ang, ang lalim, no? Um, kasi ako, ang, ang dami kong armor, ang dami kong mga alas na, na ginagamit um, in order to shield myself from, from siguro pain and shame and, you know, la- humiliation. Lahat, lahat na lang na possible I can think of kung anong iba to sa akin ng world. But, but indeed, yes, kung natanggap mo na kakayanin mo pala, lumabas at mabasa ng ulan kahit wala kang armor then then it really says about your true strength and um, parang parang kumbaga matitest talaga ng pagkatao mo kung kakayanin mo yung ganun so i think napakalalim at napakaganda ng message na yan thank you so much Rika and let's now move to Pat Pat what can you say about what Noel um um commented Oh, well, with me personally, it will be with this topic and that what, what your what your viewers said, it's going to be hard not to involve God. Sorry, I, I don't mean to be a religious or spiritual, but for me, kasi, um, I try to get my security, my confidence 
not just from myself or from the people around me. I try to get it from from him. You know, kasi, um, for me, kasi whatever happens, um, if, if you have him as, you know, the source of your security, it's not even coming from your partner or your spouse or your family. Secondary kasi yan eh. No? So, it's that eh. I mean, it's, that's unshakable for me. So, that's, it could be, it, it it's it, as simple as that. For me, that's where that's where I, I source my strength. No, so kahit ano pa yan, kahit ano pa yung sa harap mo, kung sino pa yan, if you have that as the center and at at the very core of your being, you'll be okay. Thank you so much, Pat. Now <laughs> let's move to Dexter. Dexter, what can you say about the comment of Noel? Uh, again, no. Um, alpha spirituality is about being authentic no so if you're vulnerable you are vulnerable and again it's about acceptance it's about detachment detachment to a specific outcome and constant improvement so if you feel vulnerable and you are present you will improve yourself eh meron tayong tinatawag na sinasabi kahit sa vaccine they call it uh mystery no, what does that mean? No, uh, you constantly improve yourself by, you know, accepting, you know, failures, uh, uh, taking failures as just a negative judgment of an outcome. And it, it is just part of your process towards your success. It's just part of your journey, etc. So you're vulnerable to failure eh? uh, or even, of course, death ultimately. In the end, sabi nga ni Steve Jobs, di ba, Sas, and everyone, sabi na, we are already naked. What does that mean? Uh, from the time we were born, we are already in the process of dying. Sorry sa mga nanonood, pero that's it. Eh. That's the reality. Eh. So uh, we are really vulnerable. We just need to accept it. You need, we need to be authentic about it. And let's not have that incessant thinking and insecurity also. Na parang, oy, baka masaktan ako. Oy, baka ma ako today. So just be conscious in the present moment. And of course, constantly improve yourself. Thank you so much for this wonderful dialogue. My God, one hour na, guys. <laughs> Parang bitin, di ba? Bilas. Oo, ang bilis ng panahon. But thank you so much for um, for being my dialogue partners for um, today. And I hope I can also have you as a guest, maybe in other topics. But thank you so much. And... Um, Lahide ko na kayo para ako yung mag-concluding remarks na. <laughs> Um, ayan, um, tapos na po ang session 2 ng dialogue uh, with SAS and I hope that you enjoy the topic and I hope that you have, you were able to um, learn what, I think ang pinaka takeaway point ko kasi dito is the, the balance between um, being strong and being vulnerable and, and you know, being present and 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 having um I think that sense of mystery that comes along with um with not being too attached a lot with with your relationship for example or I think even so I think that's that's what I have um that's what that's that's what I take away Mara, yun po guys, I hope that you have learned something from my, my from this dialogue. Next week, the topic would be about the art of governing a city, and my dialogue partner will be Mayor Sarah Duterte. Thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.